Welcome to video one of the FDOT State Final Estimates Office Trimble Business Center video series. This video will cover the steps required to set up Trimble prior to calculating earthwork volumes using survey files. We will begin on the FDOT Trimble webpage. If you are new to Trimble and still need the software, the start button located on this page will take you through a quick three-step process. Step one is purchasing the Trimble software. For FDOT employees, this software has already been purchased for you, so submit an Information Resource Request, or IRR, to gain access to Trimble. Step two is to get familiar with the software. And step three is to ask questions so we can better help you. Also, look through our Frequently Asked Questions page to see if some of your questions have already been answered. Looking at our Trimble webpage, you can see our resources provided on the left side, which include Trimble's main website, a link to the Trimble handbook that provides step-by-step -step instructions and screenshots on how to use the software, a link to the Trimble download page that has a downloadable startup package that includes a customized ribbon and templates for Florida datums. Next is a link to the Trimble demonstration videos, which were produced by Trimble and FDOT representatives. The fifth link is to our most frequently asked questions. And the last link is to the CAD manual, where you can find design file requirements and other CAD information. You are now ready to navigate to the FDOT Trimble Downloads page. The Trimble Downloads page contains files that were developed to simplify using the software for FDOT purposes, which is included in the FDOT Trimble Startup Package. These files are the Trimble example files, a customized ribbon, and all of the required statewide datums. This map can be used to identify which datum to use based on your project location and can be enlarged by clicking on the map. We will now step through the process of downloading the startup package to your computer. Follow along by clicking on the FDOT Trimble Startup Package link from the downloads page. By clicking on this link, a PDF package will open with the package files. Highlight all the files in the package and right click to save these files in a location on your desktop as we will need to be able to direct the Trimble software to this information later. We are now ready to open the Trimble software. Let's start off by updating the ribbon to only the options or tools that will be needed for FDOT surface to surface calculations. It's important to note that this step is optional. If you do choose to update the ribbon, you will only need to do this once with the first load of each Trimble download or update. Right click anywhere on the ribbon, then select Customize the Ribbon. Select Import, then navigate to the desktop where the startup package was saved. Select the FDOT custom menu file and click Open, then OK. Once this file is imported, the menu should resemble the one shown on the screen. Next, we will designate the file location for the saved templates. Select Support, Options, then select File Locations. Click the ellipsis next to the template folder, then navigate to the folder where the template files are located. Click OK, then click OK again. To set a default template, select File, then New. The template folder we just set will appear across the top and the template files will appear in the selection list. We recommend selecting the most commonly used data as your default, however you can select any datum at any time. To import the correct template for your project, refer to the statewide datum map to determine which zone your project is in. Also note that in the map view, the datum boundaries run along those county lines. After you select the appropriate datum template for your project, then select OK. Trimble should now open a new project and plan view which will be based on the chosen datum. For the last step in this video, we will be updating the project settings. Modifying the project settings will use this information for identifying projects and reports. To do this, select Project, then Project Settings. In the Project Settings window, update the general information. For example, 
The reference number can be used to identify the contract or project number. The project name can be used as the short description, and the description can be a longer version. On the next tab, add in your company information, followed by your user information on the last tab. Remember, if the FDOT templates are not used, the other project settings should be reviewed to ensure the units are correct and align with the survey information to be imported into the file. Click OK. As another reminder, please use the FDOT Trimble Handbook and other Trimble resources. If you have any questions, please contact your District Final Estimates Manager or the State Final Estimates Office. You are now ready to start Video 2. Video 2 will provide step-by-step -step instructions for importing and comparing surfaces for Final Estimates Earthwork calculations.